I'm going to need a bigger shelf. <laughs> What's the unboxing? What it be? Well, I don't know. Shut up and see. Hey, friends. Welcome back to the channel. You know what I'm going to unbox for you. I know what I'm going to unbox for you. But what you don't know is what does the Magic Duck Bucket think of all this fun stuff? What have you got for me today, Magic Duff Bucket? Oh, what is this? It's an Ale Smith Speedway Stout. I like those. It's a little fuzzy. There you go. There you, you've seen these before. I don't need to really show you again. But uh, And this is a fun mug I got from the Nocturnal uh, Reader's Box way back in the day. Way back in the day. So it's been a fun week with uh, with the release uh, of Butcher Boy. And I know I've been very vocal about that. And I know that with this release, for a while, uh, you know, you got to give me a little, little longer to go. But in the coming future, you won't have to hear me go on and on and on about Butcher Boy anymore because my wish came true, right? So that'll that'll shut me up these books you're gonna have to deal with some unboxings in the future and me maybe shedding a tear or two but um you know there's still copies of butcher boy available the numbered edition as well as artist gift editions so that just happened and then while all that's going on i get this thing in the mail i just oh and if you saw my live stream, uh, I'm having a beer partnership with Rapture to do a Jeff Ward Stout. So it's like the year is just ending on a complete high note, a total high note. <sighs> so let's just share this high note. Is this going to make you nervous? The most sacred of my shelves, putting a beer up there, going to make you nervous? Huh? Yeah, sweat a little bit. Okay, so let's do this. Um, I don't know if you all have seen the ARC, but there's something really cool about it if you've seen Paul's live stream where he showed the ARC. Dragon Lord had to be called in off the bench for this one. Normally, he doesn't get a taste of these ARCs because they get that zip thing, you know, and I make the little, like, like I'm playing a violin or something, but this is a little different of an arc box. So we will we will ask the Dragon Lord for assistance, and we did, and now here we are. And I'm... <sighs> here it is. Jaws. Now this is a big arc. I know the book is oversized. Um, the, 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 the last time Suntup did an oversized book was Misery, so that was the first. And so um, Paul's returning to that with Jaws. And it is big, but look at that. That's the feature I wanted to talk about. The bite mark at the top. Paul shared that on the live and he said, I just couldn't resist making a bite mark out of the arc. That doesn't appear in any of the other editions. So the numbered edition um, or the lettered or the artist gift edition. So he just he just had to have fun there. Um, it's fun fun thing is that this is, it's like the shark bit the shrink wrap too. <laughs> See, that's... It's just coming away, so. Oh, so I, uh, if you recall, I interviewed Wendy Benchley for this book and the artist whose name is right, um, John Anthony Giovanni. I needed the refresher um, to look at, at that. And then it had the original art dust jacket on the um, um, artist edition is the original art from Roger Castell. So this is my first time seeing this, and it's gonna have the art in it. Oh, the art section in the back. Oh, this is like all the bells and whistles arc. 
Sometimes they can be pretty uh, bare. Um, wow. So there's all kinds of like bonus stuff in here. Sneak peeks. Hmm. <laughs> Titles considered for the novel. That is, so there's all kinds of bonus stuff in here that I actually, I don't want to spoil anything. There's the art. My, my, my camera's having a little hard time just jumping focus here. I'm sorry. I don't know why, why that's an issue all of a sudden. Usually it's, it's a very quick on the uptake. So I read this book for the first time because Suntup was doing it, and I loved it. I thought it, it had a lot more depth than uh, I was willing to give it credit for initially. And I know that Steven Spielberg famously hated the book because he said there, there were no characters he liked. And I think that's a very simplistic way. Maybe he, was, uh, maybe he wasn't really paying attention to the book. I also did a review on this channel if you want to check that out for, um, for my thoughts on that. But I think people can be complicated and do bad things for the right or wrong reasons, but you could get the, you know, you get their motivations and they're not, it's not that they're, you throw them out just because it's a flawed character. It doesn't make it a bad story. So um, I thought there were really great themes of being out of place and um, yeah, and, and just driven by impulse were those two main themes in the book. So I really, really liked it. And I thought John Anthony D. Giovanni uh, really knocked it out of the park with the artwork. I interviewed him as well. You should check that out because uh, <laughs> I tried to scare him. I, at one point in the interview, I said, were you afraid to take on a book with such iconic imagery? And, you know, you're going to have a lot of people judge you against that. And he said, well, I didn't consider it before I took it on. And I'm glad I didn't talk to you before I did. So that was a fun part of the interview. Anyway, that's it. You cannot buy Jaws uh, on the prime on the from direct from the publisher. It's all sold out, all buttoned up. You can go on the secondary. I've seen copies floating around. Uh, no pun intended. Usually, it's intended. You could go to the fans of Facebook, uh, fans of Suntup Facebook page. I don't think there's a fans of Facebook Facebook page. Right? I mean, maybe there was back in the day, but there's not one now. Mark Zuckerberg's made no friends. So you go to the fans of Suntup Facebook page. People are selling uh, there frequently, often. Jaws will show up. And um, I think on the fans page is the most reasonable prices. Those are the most reasonable prices you're going to get. eBay's kind of a crazy wild west of prices uh, if you want it. And I don't know why you wouldn't want it. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. So that's it. Um, that's the arc to cap out a Suntup week, a heavenly Suntup week, and to preview and to, to close out the year in harmony. Get over to the fans of Suntup Facebook page because uh, Chris and I are going to do a video on the 22nd. Little, little group get together. And check out the merch. It did merch. Yeah, this is a commercial for me. It's a commercial for me, Beef Daddy. Uh, I would do Beef Daddy shirts, but then I would have to wear all of them because I am Beef Daddy, you know, so that didn't make it. But there are a couple of shirts. Uh, do you want to do a Beef Daddy shirt? No. Okay, well, maybe we will. Maybe we will, because might as well spread the uneasiness around. Um, but we, we do have a couple of things on there, a uh, couple of phrases. More to come. We'll see how this works. Tons of products. Lots of fun. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. The Jeff word, dot fun. So that's it. I know I said that's it already, and I'll probably say that's it again. Um, until next time, and it's not so hard to do this time of year, stay frosty.
Milo's not dead, but he's sleeping like he's the dead because he's not chewing on anything or clawing up anything right now. So if he's not clawing stuff up, he's asleep. And so I think if there was a book Suntub could do uh, about him, it'd be called Claws. Just when you thought it was safe to sit with your feet dangling down, you know, there comes claws and he'll just, he'll slash the shit out of you. It's just a fact. Anyway, check out other videos where he may or may not be in. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and and hit that bell. Hit that, hit that, hit that bell. Hit it.